power forward, number 12, Michaela Anyaverde. At the shooting guard position, number 32, Sammy Whitcomb. The other guard, number 20, Sabrina Ionescu. Starting at center, number six, Natasha Howard. The other forward position, number 44, Benaja Leany. They go up against the New York Liberty. And coming to you from the borough of Brooklyn, I'm Blake Suniga. Pleased to have you here along with my broadcast partners, Brian Vanifatemi and Tim Swartz. Well, tonight we have two teams that put in work on the boards. Great rebounders. So what should we look for tonight? Well, second chance points, that's going to be a key number to look at. And you always want to limit those opportunities for the opposition any night. But tonight, there should be even more of those chances. Well, for me, I'm looking for who plays yeah, with more out. passion. Both teams are used to pushing opponents around down low. So what happens when they face someone who is also great on the boards? Howard, that's good. Proving what a selfless player she is, Ginescu is all about getting the rock to wide open teammates. Outside Robinson. The shot, no good. So New York will take it the other way. Ionescu outside. Laney. The three-pointer off the mark. Here's Robinson. First quarter of play, one minute played. Mitchell. And there's the foul called on Whitcomb. That is her first, first foul of the game. Foul. Teams first. First team foul. Pass to Breland. Puts it up from 12. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And what you appreciate most about Jessica Breland is the defense she provides. When she's on the floor, she's going to give you everything. And she really takes pride in blocking shots and coming up with steals. Now here's Robinson. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Mitchell outside. Just five to shoot. No good there with the step back J. And Breland's work ethic is just tremendous, and it's why her teammates enjoy playing with her. Not everyone likes to play defense, but uh, really, Breland really gets after it on this end, and the coaching staff appreciates it. That is some dime-dropping, exquisite assist. Man, they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. A great assist that time by Sabrina Ionescu as that one goes in. They've been hot here early, dropping them in left and right. And yeah, we'll see how long they can keep it going. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Robinson. They need this. Sabrina Ionescu with the rebound. The shots aren't dropping yet. They've missed four of their first five shots. Laney 
basket counts. Every time they get scored on during this run, it seems like it's come from inside the paint. Buckle up on defense. Yeah, it's time to collapse down and make them shoot jumpers. Now a timeout called by Indiana. Well, you talk about someone who saw their career blossom. That's what Natasha Howard did a few years back. She went from being a bench threat to an all-star starter. quarter of play and we're about three minutes in. Pass to McCowan. And a foul called on the shot. Got on the way up that time, so she's two. And for Howard, she's been a fixer in starting lineups ever since. Yeah, and now that Howard is a centerpiece of the team, she could have some of her best years in terms of production. I mean, she already has three titles to her name, so we know she's a proven winner. Some players have made the leap. Is this for real, or should we wait a few more weeks to see if it sticks? That's a great question, Blake. We are starting to see some players who really worked in the offseason, and their numbers improving. I'm just not sure we have enough of a sample size yet. Sample size? What are you, a scientist, Tim? But I, I do agree, you know, because being a great player, it's about doing it for the entire season, not just for the first few weeks. And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice piece. And now we see them really working it inside. Yeah, getting quality looks around the rim. That's fueling this run. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Alama for three. Nailed from three-point land. Alamo. When she has the three. ball, Mitchell is always looking to find an open teammate. Head on a swivel. Laney outside. And stolen by Mitchell. Laney with some nice D. New York in the lead. Banked in off the glass. That's just great ball movement. And that's key this run. Passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. Here's Alema. Two minutes. Pass to Mitchell. Two minutes. Good work defensively by Sammy Whitcomb. To the paint. That's her second shot and her second basket. My math says that's two for two. And they're really keeping that ball hopping around. Yeah, hip hopping around if you ask me. Look, their last five trips have all ended with a great pass leading to a hoop. They are really sharing the basketball. Now here's Mitchell. She hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. McCowan. That's in there. Yeah, Nelson time out, time out. Mitchell with the assist. I mean, come on. You New think York a little tap is going to stop McCowan? No way. She's just too tough. New York calls timeout. The backbone of this team's interior play. McCowan really D's up. She's a terrific rebounder, and her size alone can cause matchup problems.
Fever making a switch here. And it's New York's ball. They're leading by eight. And for all she's already accomplished, McCowan's just getting started. Oh, absolutely. There's just so much upside. A couple areas where she's trying to improve free throw shooting and range on the jumper. Now here's Vivian's. Now hey, hey, hey. Alamon. Pass to Allen. Now McCowan. Guarded by Howard. Clock is at three. From deep three-point range. Offensive rebound, Fever. Now Allen. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Jones. She's good with a little jumper in close. They've come into this game with a very aggressive approach. Pounding the ball inside, and it's working. Yeah, it sure is working, Tim. And they're finding the open lanes to the hoop and just owning this game early on. What a start. Here's Lavender. And off target as she starts the game 0 for 1. From deep. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Liberty out in front, up 10. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Well, not exactly a neck and neck game, but as the second quarter starts, there is plenty of time for a comeback. And taking a look at the Liberty performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? This team's on the same page. They're right where they need to be on offense. Yeah, they're on the same page, the same chapter, you know, whatever you want to call it. And they're hitting their scores right when they need to, making scoring just easy for them. Hey, eyes up, Don't get her face. Over to the wing. Gray, Freeland defending. Odom shot us off. So it's Indiana now. It's a 10-point game. And that one's Victoria good. Vivian. Vivians. You just knew she was going to win that race. Boy, got to love that early offense. Super job on the break. Back to Jones. Howard. Makes it off the glass. Their crisp passing has opened things up offensively. Yeah, it makes the game easy. Ten straight points off of an assist. Um, that's impressive. Now here's Vivian's. Inside. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Was not phased at all by the bigger defender on her. And in the low block, I thought she might be a little phased. Yeah, you wouldn't think that would be her comfort zone. But hey... She, uh, she looked pretty comfortable right there, didn't she? And yeah, that one's good. Jones. I tell you, she loves getting looks like that from three-point range. Just nobody near her. Pass to Breland. Vivians. Now will him off. Down low. Breland. That's in, Jessica and she Freeland. found her range with yes, that yes. one. Now one for two. Julie, Sets the tone with physical and focused play. Breland is her team's spark plug. Here's Jones. Misses the three. Indiana trailing. To the inside. Breland wakes up out in. You know, they've been extremely efficient. Efficient and effective getting the ball inside. Totally. I mean, we're seeing some real shortcomings from this defense. They've given up five straight good looks in the paint. New York calls timeout. That coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there and maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good timeout. You might as well talk things through. And kind of change that game plan as well.
making a change here. New York leading. Laney outside. It's stolen by Kelsey Mitchell. Here's the break. Robinson with the ball. And it's Howard picking her up. Another shot. Robinson, no good. You know, typically she has the touch to finish when she's in that tight. Not sure what happened there. Laney got it for her fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. That's straight up heart. Laney, one of those two points. First overall pick back in 2020. Inescu does a lot well, and it starts with putting the ball in the bucket. Mitchell outside. That one's in for her first Mitchell. basket of the game. She is one for two. Wow. I mean, come on. That's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, it's just nowhere to be found. They have to start committing more bodies down low. And Ionescu gets her points without being selfish. She's a total team player. She's a great pick and roll partner. And when defenses take something away, she's very quick to adjust. Robinson. They own the paint right now, 10 straight coming from the inside. They are constantly finding lanes to the hoop, getting great looks in tight. Now here's Howard. Outside Whitcomb, pass to Ionescu. And here's Laney, she's covered by Mitchell. Back to Ionescu, five to shoot. Whitcomb with it. Connects from three-point range. They dropped their three-point percentage up uh, quite a bit this quarter, shooting it well now. Their lead's going to get timeout, a timeout. little timeout. bigger timeout. if they could just keep this up. Now a timeout called by Indiana. We've seen players gain more power in the WNBA, especially since the new CBA. Yeah, more freedom of movement. That's one of the, the things players really wanted and got in the last CBA. But also things like travel, a career development opportunities, maternity and child care. Those got some big time upgrades to the players. Yeah, and much better compensation. Lots of top players now seeing their salaries triple. Kudos to the league and players for coming together and reaching an agreement that invests in our game. on D. Hey, yo, right here. Get it. Robinson with the ball. The second chance effort. Howard with the rebound. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. Two minutes that one goes in. Two minutes. When Sabrina wants to, there's no stopping her from getting into the hole. And here is Robinson. Pass to Mitchell. Freeland with the ball. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Takes the 12 footer Kelsey and hits. Mitchell. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now. And that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Now here's Robinson. Covered by Ionescu. Robinson, no good. He's trying to get them back into it, but the results haven't been there. To the middle. Freeland defending. It's not going to go for her. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Here's Mitchell. That one falls, Tiffany coming off Mitchell. Kelsey Mitchell's speed. And when Mitchell's threes are falling, she's nearly unguardable. There's just so much you have to account for. Jessica Breland with some nice D. And they have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Outside Robinson. Pass to McCowan. Right wing. 
Here's Freeland. And she was fouled on the way up. Sabrina goes for her. Second person. And it's going to be on Sabrina Inesco. The game seemingly comes easy to Breland, who is Breland. a skilled player and really adept at creating offense for herself and others. And she knocks down the first one. And all defensive first team selection just proves how admired Breland's defensive intensity is around the league. And good on both. There's a four second difference from the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Gray. Up top, Jones. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Here's Allen. Guarded by Jones. And that one's good. Vivian. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the Liberty. They're up by three. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. sides have assessed what they need to do over the break and we'll see if one can pull away in the third it's been quite a game for laney the way she attacked the rim in the first half was absolutely remarkable the defenders need to start building walls inside doing whatever they can to stop her from getting to the rim easier said than done when she's the penetrator look her speed and agility make her an extremely tough cover the third quarter are now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. To the inside. And she drops in the layup off the glass. What a decision from Laney moving the ball, creating a great look. Indiana trailing. And with Michaela Onyanwede, her potential became obvious in college. She led the Bruins in scoring three straight seasons. And there's the foul called on Whitcomb. First team foul. That's foul number two for her. Outside Robinson. Mitchell outside. Pass to Breland. Clock at six. That's in there. Jessica Tiffany Mitchell Lee. with the assist. And when Onion Wade was putting up all those points at UCLA, she was doing it in a very competitive conference. Oh, absolutely. There were some powerhouse teams in the Pac-12 when she was there. However, that didn't stop her from racking up huge numbers against every one of them. Now here is Robinson. Breland defending. Ionescu outside. No good on the triple. Here's the fever with the ball. They trail by three. Kelsey Mitchell into the lane. Kelsey uses the Mitchell. glass to finish the layup. And that's pretty much an unguardable move from Mitchell. So skilled and composed with the ball in her hands. Laney outside. Down low. Howard. The lead pass was put in just the right spot to produce the layup. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. Now here's Mitchell. 
over Howard. Here's McCowan. And she gets it to go. Timeout, timeout. With three of four to start the half. New time York calls out. timeout. Yanescu. Six points for her. Laney outside. Howard. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. Hey, hey, move. Mitchell outside. Robinson with the ball. Now guarded by Yanescu. Now here's Mitchell. He's guarded closely. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points, but. The defense stood tall there. Ionescu, Robinson covering. The shot by Ionescu, no good. Indiana with the ball. It's a one-point game. Here's Mitchell. And she banks Tiffany in the layup. Mitchell. What control from Mitchell there. Even with the contact, she stays with it. Have to admire that kind of effort. Inside, here's Howard. Yeah, that's counted. She's been one of their more reliable options today, and it's her shooting that has given them this lead. Right around three minutes into this second half. Here's McCowan. And so she draws the foul on the shot. That trip to the line to shoot. First personal foul, team's first. You almost feel bad for the defender. I mean, slowing down McCowan in the paint the is impossible Tierra once she gets McCowan. the ball. Have to foul the there. She's gone two for two at the line so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Taken by the Fever in the 2019 WNBA draft, Tierra McCowan was reunited with college teammate Victoria Vivian in Indiana. Both shots good from the strike. The Liberty Trail. Here's Jones. Five points in the game. Laney, right side. Gray misses from close range. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Mitchell, Mitchell. shot's good. They're just killing them in the paint. You can say that again. Julie I mean, the defenders Alamo. aren't being nearly aggressive enough down low. They're just killing them in the paint. Thank you. You gotta love Kelsey Mitchell's offensive game. She's got a terrific shot and knows how to put it to work. Usually collecting plenty of points for her team. Here's Alema. She has five. Vivians. And the layup's good off the glass. They continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. And something to also appreciate about Mitchell's offense is that she doesn't waste many shots. Yeah, and that efficiency, a big part of why she's had multiple seasons as one of the top ten scorers in the league. Now here's Lavender. 
He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The defense better start buckling down. They're getting exposed and punished down low. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. It's on Kelsey Mitchell. It's her first line, trip to the line. Sammy Whitcomb at the line for two. And the Fever making a change here. She hits both from the strike. Here's Alema. Five points in the game. Unloads from nine. Here's McCowan. And foul call. Almost got it to go in. But it's that so good of a line for two. First personal foul. Well, it's something we're going to see for a long time in this league. McCowan getting to the line. She knows how to use her body right. to bait defenders. Two shots. No good on that one. on the second free throw. Here's Jones. She has five. Pass to Howard. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Jasmine Jones. The Fever leading. Here's McCowan. Outside Vivians. Zalemal. Down to five on the shot clock. Freeland Just with the move. bucket. We've Assisted seen them get much better looks in this half, ball. and they're really making the most of them. They're converting at a high level. That field goal percentage continues to creep up. Now here's Jones. Jessica Breland comes up with the rebound. This game has been very close in a lot of areas. The rebounding is one thing that's gone in their favor. Yeah, effort and determination on the glass, they, they really can compensate for a lot of deficiencies. Liberty foul. Well, you allow someone to get right. to the rim First like that. Foul. Really, that's your only option. Fourth yeah, free foul. throws are always better than a layup. I, I would agree with that. Shooting for this is our first opportunity at Julie the line this Alabama. evening. Taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. One goes in two from the line that time and the Liberty with possession here they trail by six Howard McCowan defending Jones outside from outside off the mark two on the clock and she gets the friendly spin and that one drops the first three quarters 
It's been a fun game to watch. Beaver ahead. They lead by eight. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. What a terrific, unselfish play. Could have tried to take it herself, but chose to set up her teammate. And what a setup it was. Yeah, and as a two guard, she's typically not a reluctant shooter. So it was really nice to see her orchestrating for her teammates instead. And the final period of play just about to get started here. Now Alamon. Pass to McCowan. Mitchell. Here's Allen. Six to shoot. Now here is McCowan. Guarded by Jones. McCowan with the bucket. It's so fun to see McCowan pour it in tonight. A true center. Don't see too many like her anymore. Soft touch off the glass. What a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. And it's only getting better as both these defenses are showing signs of wearing down. Yeah, the defensive effort has not been good of late. Now here's Mitchell. Passed on them off. Launches a three, and another three for Indiana. For three. Tremendous vision from Mitchell to spot the wide open teammate. That kind of unselfishness is contagious. Three pointer. Jones can't hit. And not only increase their rebound advantage, they've definitely been winning that battle today. And control the boards has given them control of the game. Danielle Robinson. Indiana with the ball. Mitchell outside. McCowan guarded by Howard. Here's Robinson. That's Danielle good. And it's Robinson. Tierra McCowan with the assist. assist. From Fantastic Tierra dish McCowan. from McCowan. Easy hoop for the team. I love it when a center can move the ball. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in. They need a basket just to gain some momentum. Oh, man, there's really been a change in her game compared to what we saw in the first half because she's just scoring with a lot of confidence now. Now here's Mitchell. Foul. Gigi Richards. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Into the lineup for Indiana. To the wing, right side. Here's Mitchell. The shot's good. Tiffany Mitchell. For a guard, Tiffany Mitchell does a great job on the glass. And she understands that second chance points are huge. A loads from nine. That one falls. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Mitchell outside. Robinson. Five on the clock. The baseline, Jay, tries again. Goes up again. And Breland just a lay in. Breland. And not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge, too. They've been the aggressors, plain and simple, outworking them inside. Now, here is Ionescu. Laney, she's covered by Mitchell. Laney's shot is off. Well, that's just not a sight you see very often because she has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when she's open. Goes right side. Laney to the paint. And no good. Jessica Breland with some nice D. Pass to Robinson. Mitchell, the rebound by the Liberty. 
We've played just over three and a half minutes now in this fourth quarter. Power misses. Robinson with the ball. Here's Mitchell. Rejected by Benajah Lady. To the right side. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Ionescu. McCowan defending. The kick out to Ionescu. Offline with the three. Now here's Mitchell. Covered by Ionescu. McCowan. That's yeah. in there. Time Kelsey out, time Mitchell out. with the assist. Well, this is where you she's going to make her money professionally. 6-7 with touch. McCowan will score points in the paint for years. Timeout called the Liberty. McCowan with a strong contribution so far in this one. She's been attacking the rim with force. They need to deny her the ball in the paint. Keep her away from the bucket. Covered by Mitchell. And she lays it straight in. Good possession resulting in the easy one down low. So it's Indiana now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Here's Alema. Covered by Ionescu. Side, guarded by Howard. Fuck! Outside Whitcomb. It doesn't go for her. And so the fever will take it the other way. Hey, yo, right here. Here's Alema. That one falls, coming Julie off Kelsey Alema. Mitchell's feet. And that's got to be the nail in the coffin. I'd say so. They've done a great job of closing this one out, never backing off, even with the big lead. Whitcomb, that's good. Orchestrating the offense. It's what Ionescu excels at, the ability to make everybody around her better. Here's Alema. Pass to Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Here's McCowan. Let's the three fly. A shot by Mitchell, no good. On offense, here's the Liberty. It's a 14 point game. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Now here's Laney. Here's Whitcomb. The three pointer, no good. And there's the foul called on Whitcomb. That is her third foul so far. Third team foul. In for Indiana. Now here's Wilson. And so it's the Fever taking care of business in this one. And in the end, a comfortable win in what was a pretty hostile environment. Yeah, you know, it's never going to be easy uh, on the road, but they didn't have too many problems tonight. And that's a wrap, everyone.